and then you go over here to the fine adjustment where you have the clicks. And if you reach zero, then you're perfectly on time. Then you push the button in. So then? Just push the push first, the push the button. Yes. Yeah. Now it's locked. No movement anymore. Then you now you bring it into the bench and set the, the, that one in. So it's a bit hard to push it. But you can use some force. So then you close it. Don't take fast. No worries. Then? So, and if you've done that, you just push the start button over there. Which is uh, this green. Start button. No, 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 no. no. Turning the head again to the, 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 to the needle value, and as you can see, that one is not the best, so it's a bit it's, high. It's not. Uh, so what you can see is the recorded values here. Uh -huh. So which means if it's red, it's not the best because it's to show that our bench is detecting an error. So it has detected an error. It has detected an error because it's out of tolerance. Uh, so what you can see it's the uh, five loadings with 10 newton meters and it, of course this one of course this one has a very important thing it tells you what to do always you just have to follow the information shown written down here so next thing what is saying adjust to two two and, two, two, two. Okay. and then you do adjust please no, you can leave it like that. Oh. Just over there. Pull it out, turn it to 30. Pull it out. Yeah. So if you come close to 30, you look to the right hand side and try to hit the zero. So what okay. if it's one more? Huh? The zero? Yeah, perfect. Yeah, no. So now it's aligned with that key here. Push it in. And then press start, start again. again. Yeah. So now the bench starts turning the head. And you have always the same movement, but it's important to get a reliable value. So if you do it manually, someone is turning faster or maybe slower and something like that. So that affects the values as well. Just pick that. So now it, this the values are not correct. So that means they're in, in, in they're the within tolerance. the tolerance. Yeah, that's black. It's in the tolerance. Okay. So why were uh, 10 by 10 not in the, the adjustment? They, you, you made the adjustment out to show? Yeah, no, that one, not on that one because I want to leave it like that. But I can tell you, if you need to adjust the lower value, you go here. So if you set a, a torque wrench, our torque wrench, so it's on the lowest value. So you can see the pickup is quite is there. So what we can see, when I push that one, I move the pickup. So the yes. pickup yeah. on the frame moves. So as I know now, on the lower values, I have to go to that screw because if I adjust the screw, According I adjust the, the spring force. So because if I higher it, the load will be more. If I lower it, the, the load, load will be less. less. Uh -huh. So that's a quite easy system. And it's easy to do by a normal calibration guy. So you don't need to disassemble anything. We can provide quite good torque wrenches which are not need to disassemble. Next step will be electrical ones. We also have electrical ones with a real mechanic click. So we are the only one in the world who are allowed to do so. Uh, and that one you just plug in and it does everything automatically. So it does everything by itself. The adjustment it does automatically yeah. as well? So it measures the values and the software itself just bring in the new values.